Anyway, let's get back to the Saints real quick. We want to keep moving down this list. We got Ingram at 50. So Breeze's boy. What do you guys think about that? You think that's cheap money or expensive money? I think it's probably right on par. I don't know. I don't know if it's it's I don't think it's cheap money, but maybe it could be. I mean, if you're in I think it, it might be a, a touch disrespectful. Yeah. Well, he did have a ridiculous year. He is coming off one of the most ridiculous years. Definitely the best year he's he is ever a little had. Old. He's going to be 20, I think he's 27 right now, so he'll be 28 at some point. That's how that age thing works. <laughs> well, uh, it's, it's calling him 28 right now. Okay. So he is a little bit old. He is going to be a saint next year, though. So this whole thing could get filled up again. Yeah. And if you're looking for a one-year workhorse running back, then I'm all in on Mark Ingram. I have Mark Ingram on a team of mine, and part of me – Knows that he's dealt with some injuries. He he get he gets nicked up. He has in the past. He's good to like week twelve and something pops. I and it, but last year it was glorious. Last year it was all the way healthy and I think Kamara helped with that. And he also just you know didn't have any bad luck in that regard. Part of me wants to ring the register and kind of sell him and sell super high here and try and get something you know. Something maybe a little younger, maybe a little shinier, maybe a package or something. Part of me wants to... They usually have to pay alimony for that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> part of me wants to sell them, but then the other part of me knows that I have a decent squad and that I'm going to compete for the playoffs and into the playoffs, I think, and I want him around next year. I want him on my team as a workhorse as I go and try and win a championship. So I, I've contemplated it, and I don't think I'm going to move him, but if I had a bad squad... And he's sure. the only good dude on my team, or, or one of the best, which he is anyway. He is one of the best dudes on my team right now, and I kind of want to move him, but I'm not going to. I'm, I'm, I'm ready to fill this thing up again, and then just if, if next year, if he's not a saint, which it won't be the same for Mark Ingram if he's not a saint, and he's going to be another year older, another we're, we're approaching that 30-year mark. If I was looking super towards the future, I'd maybe try and move him for a haul. But if you if you're trying to compete, I I think uh, I think that's not a bad buying spot. I don't think it's the cheapest money, in my opinion. But it's a solid. It's even money. It's even. It's <laughs> well, money. At twenty eight, it's, it, it's just money. It's just <laughs> money. You got to put. You got to spend it somewhere. Uh, at fifty, it right here in Mark Ingram in twenty eight. He's the oldest running back by far, and anybody, all the running backs ahead of him on this list are younger. Um, Mark Ingram definitely earned this position from where he was. From the next what he good did. back is Shady at seventy, and he's twenty nine. Just about just to say to that. Kind of, I, that was the, that was my neck. You just said it. I mean, my next thing was Shady's twenty nine, and he's at seventy. And I don't. Shady was probably around fifty last year, and I guess because he went from twenty eight to twenty nine, he dropped twenty spots. But Shady did nothing. Um, I mean, as a Shady o- owner myself, and he helped uh, us go to a third place finish in one of our FFPC leagues. He did nothing to earn twenty spot drop. I mean, other than turning 29 and being a running back. Yeah. So your investment, just like just like Jay Wayne just said, in a 28-year-old running back in Mark Ingram, it is for a obvious win-now situation. And if you've gone and, and purchased in your first three picks here in, the, in a startup and you got Corey Davis and a couple other very young players, Mark Ingram might not be a best, the best stab for you here at 50. Um, that being said, if you got a couple of picks here feeling good about it, then you can just <laughs> tally it up and grab market mark there's no doubt about right. it marking was gonna be successful i guess year. i could maybe argue the other way is like he's kind of like the last one here i mean a jai's here at, at 56 but you don't really know exactly he's obviously much younger but you don't know what you're getting i think if ingram coming back to the saints you know what's about to happen you know it's what true. you're gonna get and you're gonna get a productive player at 50 regardless of his age and oh, I, I you know I, I think i think that would kind of the, who's like tevin coleman is is i mean Shady's the next guy on the list at 70 that I would want any part of trying to build as far a as running, running back goes, stable yeah. out of. I get even, it. Even if these dudes are, are a little older, you know. I get it. Well, like it, that's just it. Like his age, there's no doubt about it. Like even if Mark Ingram tears it up this year, he's not going to go forward on this list. He's he's all, he just tore it up and he's only at fifty. You're right. So like it, it does. There's a there's a element of a little bit of disrespect there for what Mark Ingram's done to his owners in the past to have him at fifty because it, if if he was two years younger, he would obviously be what you know way up on this list. So uh, I mean I don't mind grabbing like just what Casey said. You definite production coming out of the Saints backfield for Mark Ingram next year. It's not a bad way to to win, but you just got to know what you're getting yourself into because he's not going to go up any. Yeah, that's fair. Mark Ingram or Nick Chubb right there is at 49. 
right? I mean, it's, I'm not prepared to say that right now without landing spot on Nick Chubb, but that's a good question. I mean, do you build for the it's future? Like, uh, you, there's prob, there's little chance that Nick Chubb outproduces Mark Ingram next year. But at the end of the day, Mark Ingram's not turning 29. Mark Ingram will be 29 next year, and Nick Chubb will be 23. Right? Yeah. You know, so that's just that's how you play the game. Just sure. depending on opinion there. But like you said, Casey, you got you got Shady at 70, so you could make you know take your Nick Chubb in one round or or grab yourself a Sterling Shepard or a Will Fuller. You can grab Will Fuller there at 51, and then get Shady next round and have yeah. your have that talent for running back and you know a Will Fuller who's only 23 now. Who went in the lineup with uh, Deshaun? Deshaun looked like a just unstoppable force. 